equator to a structure. So NM temp gets NM pointer. What's NM pointer? NM pointer is a structure, isn't it? Okay. So the R value of the R value of NM pointer is an address. And since we are dereferencing this, we're down one level, if you will, and we're at an address. Can I take the splat off of there and have it work? This requires a double pointer, right? That's a data type, a, a double pointer, a pointer to a pointer to a structure. And this is actually a, an address of a structure. So incompatibility, different number of levels. Why don't I have to have on this one a splat? Because it's already an address. Because the square brackets already do the dereference for me. Right? They do the dereference for me at offset zero. So this notation and this notation are equivalent, aren't they? Add two to the address that's in NM temp and then dereference that whole thing. Okay. And likewise here, NM temp plus two, dereference it. It's a, it's a pointer, isn't it? Pointer to a particular structure. And then I can take the X pointer, XPTR member of the structure pointed at by NM temp plus two, dereferenced and assign an address location in there. So we're clear on all of that. I need to stop debugging here and I want to continue with this. I want to rebuild. stuck some things in there that I shouldn't have. So our output window doesn't do much, doesn't say much, just says Mary, Mary, Mary. Okay. Here we're starting a similar kind of a process. And what I'm dealing with here is some combination of lab three and lab four. Okay. The idea behind this I'm going to do a get string and get string um, has a buffer of 256 I think and lets me put some things into it. So I'm going to type in a string
and we pass to this process string the string that we just entered in, the address, the address of names, which is initialized to zero, and the number of names, the number of words that we've typed in, uh, which is simply num names, and it's set to zero. And num names is an integer. So stepping into this, oops, I forgot to comment something out. Sorry about this. Okay, so we are inside a process string, and I want to note, I want you to note the data type of names. What is the data type of names? How would you read that? Names is a reference variable, first of all, we know that. So it's a reference to a pointer to a pointer to character. Okay. So names actually will be, when we go back to main, will be a pointer to an array of pointers. And each of those pointers will hold the address of a character string. So it's a ragged edged array, and we'll process through this. We know about string token, right? And string token is looking at str, and since it ran once already, str has the null after Mary. But inside of string token, we keep track of where we are within, uh, within the, the original string. And we're going to simply step down. We're going to output token pointer, which is, first thing is Mary. And then we're going to go get memory to hold what will temp hold? What is the data type and how much will it have? Kenan? The data type for temp and how much memory will it have? It's going to be a pointer to a string. It's going to be a pointer to a string. Okay. And num names is zero. And we add one, so we get one an array of one, if you will, okay? So temp points to a location that has, holds an address, and but that address has not yet been allocated. 
So temp is a pointer to an array of one address. And since num names is zero, we're going to skip this piece. And now we'll, we'll allocate enough space to hold Mary. And we're going to place the address of that in temp sub zero. So if we look at temp sub zero, we notice that temp uh, sub zero is this, this address, but that content doesn't point to anything yet. And it points to, to a, uh, something that is five bytes long, but it doesn't have anything in it. And so we're going to copy Mary into that location. So now temp sub zero contains the string Mary. We continue on. We copy temp into names. We increment num names. And we search to see if it's in there. And then we go get the next one. Getting the next one. Token pointer now is had. We allocated an array now of uh, two pointers because num names is one and we have another one here. Now we're going to copy the names into the temp so that they look alike. And then we're going to place the new string into, excuse me, the new string into the temp array. And we're going to copy the, the value into temp sub num names. So if we look at the debugger, notice that temp zero has Mary in it, and temp one, let me just do that, has the word had in it, which is the same as token pointer. Different addresses though, isn't it? Different addresses. And name sub zero has Mary in it. Name sub one doesn't have anything in it yet. And we'll delete the old names. And we're going to have temp point at, or names point at the same location temp currently points at. So names now, you'll notice that uh, names points at the same place as temp did. Increment our count and do a, go through and do a search for the new token. Get the new token and away we go. Let me just run through that. Our string is broken down, Mary had a little lamb, into separate components. And we come back, we went all the way to the end here, went through the delete, and hit the system pause, which is where we are at the moment. Okay. Do you get the idea of what this program is trying to do? What is it doing? 
Tokenizing. What is it? Tokenizing. It's tokenizing, yes. What else is it doing? It's making a dynamic array that's pulled to a Dakota. Um, it splits up the string into a ragged edge array of single okay. words. Okay. Mary had a little lamb started off as a single buffer string. We tokenized it, and as we began to go through, we created an array 